this is just an example you can do the same procedure with any type of block but i'm gonna use a bet for this specific example right all right so at this point this is the twin bet so i'm gonna right click and pick block editor all right so nothing fancy here simply polylines and lines so the first thing that we're gonna do is combine all of these different uh, sizes of bed into one dynamic block the, so when we start adding our bed on our floor plan or bedroom we can simply change uh, different sizes of beds with one click right so the way we're gonna do it is um, using the authoring palette so from your ribbon simply click on it and then we will have this authoring palette so we need a parameter and then we're gonna need uh, an action. So parameter, click over here, and then we're gonna need the visibility uh, parameter. So let's click on it. And the visibility says specify parameter location. So for my parameter location, I'm gonna place it here on this middle point and move uh, down a little bit and click like so. So that's to not interfere with the um, uh, geometry, in this case, the line. All right, so that's, you can see over here an exclamation. Uh, so don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So now we have these visibility states over here. So if we click on it, like so, we can see this dialog box over here. And right now uh, we need to rename this visibility. So I'm gonna rename it. And remember we said that this was the twin uh, size, right? For the bed. So I'm gonna simply say twin like so and press enter, right? So now we need to create different visibility states for each uh, bed size. So there is an option here for new. So I'm gonna click new. And then over here where it says um, a name, I'm gonna, uh, my next bed size is gonna be the twin XL, right? And then make sure that leave visibility of existing objects is checked. Let's click okay, and we have two now. So we're gonna keep adding all of the different types of bed sizes i'm gonna do it really quick with the same procedure right so now that we are ready we're gonna select the first one and make sure we set current with this option over here so it's the check um, so now let's click ok and so at this point when we have the twin bed we're gonna have this bed right that's correct however if we change to the next one over here from the ribbon to the twin xl like so by clicking on it you can see that we still have the same bed so but we don't want that so what i'm gonna do is select everything like so and then deselect with shift this visibility icon, right? Like so. And then, so at this point, I can hide this uh, bed size from this specific visibility state. So to do that, uh, there is an option over here that says make invisible. So we're gonna pick that option and click like so. Oops, we forgot to click this line. So. It's not a problem let's do it also like so so now that we are in our twin xl let's go to the drawing right that we uh, copied it to keep things simple that's the twin xl so at this point i simply need to uh, copy this right or so i'm gonna do it with control shift and x to cut it right you can see that's the cut base command that's the shortcut and then uh, i'm going to specify my base point it's going to be over here click and you can see that's the twin xl 
so i'm gonna go to my dynamic block again to paste it with Control v and then and now i need to paste it over here on this point how do i do that well we can use the 0 comma 0 origin point and then press enter so that will go exactly on the same location as our other block so for the for the double or full double, I'm gonna select the first, right? And then I'm gonna select all of my uh, geometry like so, and I'm gonna hide it again for the full size with this make invisible option. So I'm gonna click and done. So at this point, I need the full double bed size. So that's not a problem. Let's go here and let's select this bed and use the same procedure Control shift x to cut or cut base on this bed from this point and then go back to the block paste it with Control v at zero comma zero and then press enter like so so now that you know this process i'm gonna try to speed up things i'm gonna do it faster So at this point, what I like to do is test the block, right? Because if there are a mistake, we can quickly fix it. But if we keep adding more um, parameters, more actions to the dynamic block, then when we finally finish it and we test it, it's gonna be so hard if we find a mistake because we did so many things to the dynamic block. So at this point, I'm gonna test it, right? Over here on the block, it says test block. So let's click that and let's test it. So we have a little bit over here. And if we see on the properties, um, on the properties, we can see that this is a twin bed on the visibility one, right? On property palette. So let's change it to full double. So that's a little bigger. You can see it, full double. And let's keep testing our beds any mistakes or something that we can fix quickly right so king okay yes, everything looks good so far let's keep moving california that's awesome california all right so this looks correct so far so i'm gonna go over here and close the test block by clicking this option and then let's go back all we need to do is make it more um, efficient to insert right in order to do that i'm gonna add another um, parameter over here and it's called the alignment parameter so i'm gonna click this alignment over here like so and following my command line instruction it says a specified base point so i'm gonna click over here so click and then I'm gonna move it to the right and click again, like so. So uh, I added this to the California King, right? But what about if I change to twin? You can see that the parameter disappears. So we don't want that. We want this parameter to stay with all of the different type of beds. So how do we do that? Well. Let's go back to the California where the um, this parameter exists and let's select it and right clicking on it, there is an option that says object visibility. So here what we need to do is click the option that says show for all states. So I'm gonna click it. And now look what happened when I changed to a different bed, in this case twin, you see the parameter still exists for all of the beds so that's awesome and again at this point let's test it right 
so go test over here and for testing it i'm gonna draw a big rectangle over here that represents a bedroom right so let's go over here and let's select our bed and let's say if i wanted to put it over here or i can put it over here will align automatically with our bedroom right so i can place it here like so or i can go and insert it maybe over here right and it will align automatically so far that's good uh, let's see if we change the bed let's say to queen and then we still have that alignment parameter that is kicking for us like so but we still have um, a problem here because what if I want to place this bed on this corner over here, exactly on this corner, right? I can't because look, I will have to guess. I will have to guess and then still use the move command to move it over here on this corner like so. And we don't want that. We want to avoid that because this video is about inserting your blocks uh, with the simplest way possible right so how do we do that let's do that right now so let's close our test block like so and let's go back to our block so what we can do is add another um, alignment parameter so the way we're gonna do it is from our a block authoring palette again which is this one so let's go under parameters and let's go to alignment again so let's click on it and specify base points so let's click over here in this other corner click and then move to the right click like so all right so now that we have this uh, remember to make sure uh, to locate yourself right right now we are on the twin xl but if we change to twin you see that there is no uh, alignment parameter so however uh, if we go to the queen again there is no alignment parameter but in this specific example we don't want the same alignment parameter to show up for all of our bets why because if we do so our alignment parameter will show up over here, not exactly on this other corner because the beds have different sizes. So then we need to individually add them to each bed size, right? So we're gonna do that. So let's go to twin and I'm gonna add an alignment parameter. So from this corner, click, click, and then change visibility to this other one this one we already have so let's go to full bet and i'm gonna keep adding the parameter i'm gonna do it really quick because you already know the procedure so at this point our block is ready so let's close the block editor and say save the changes right so at this point we have our block over here but now we can still make the insertion of our block more efficient how using the tool palette so let me show you that really you can do that simply by using the control 3 key on your keyboard to open it it's right here and at this point i'm gonna create a new a new uh, palette so right click and i'm gonna pick new palette like so all right so that's the new palette over here you can rename it of course um, as you wish by right clicking and rename you know you can say my blocks or whatever uh, this is all up to you but the idea is that when we select our block we can uh, with the left clicking we can hold it and add it to our palette right like so so we have the bed over here so what we can do is right click and say rename because this is our twin bed right so twin uh, let's press enter 
So now we can copy this, uh, simply right clicking on it and picking copy. So we can right click again and paste it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes. So I'm gonna keep pasting it six times, right? Paste, paste, paste. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the twin bed. So let's now uh, right click on the second one and say properties. So at this point over here, we can change the visibility of this dynamic block. If we scroll down, you can see the visibility is still twin. So, but this one is going to be the twin XL. So let's change it over here, clicking on it and picking twin XL and clicking OK. So we were going to do the same procedure. Right. So we have all of our different beds over there. So let's do a final test. Let's say I need to insert my bed, right? So I can pick whatever size I need. So at this point I can click the twin bed. And of course I can, I, I wanted to snap it over here in this corner. So I can simply click the, or, or sorry, use the control key to change to my second alignment. And then I can go here and place it exactly on that corner. I can maybe use the different uh, size, this one. So I'm gonna click this bed. So let's say I want it um, maybe over here on the bed, right? So I can simply hold it and click it like so. And of course, at this point, let's say this bed is too big on my bedroom, my bedroom is too small or whatever, I can simply uh, change with one click maybe to a smaller bed like so. I'm Irving and if you are new to the channel, uh, we are all about saving time in AutoCAD. Too.